for someone you never be free now emotion is always replay here yeah hello and once again good evening youtube this is the kamikaze games channel ready to play some more vigilante 8 last time we got done with old our old buddy sid burn we got two slots completely filled up and we've got uh, five characters remaining so why don't we get this show on the road so you've probably noticed the pattern by now we go coyote vigilante coyote vigilante well, the next one's going to be a Vigilante, surprisingly, I know, yes. Sorry, got distracted by my phone, as most millennials do. Today we're going to play as John Torque. You ready to roll with the dice, bro? Hell yeah. And we're going to go to Casino City, bitch. Hell yeah. Having just lost all of his bread in poker, John Torque is about to blow out of town. Surprisingly, the streets are full of wannabe tough guys asking for trouble. Dig it. And we gotta protect them gas stations, bro, so... Yes, indeed. Um, so as you can see, we're playing as John Torque. I just gotta avoid those... Uh, thingamajigs, pretty much, is all I'm gonna plan on doing here. Um... And our first opponent is Houston. You've already seen John Torque special. And how it causes the entire world to be stupid. It's also decently a strong weapon as well. I mean, a lot of these special weapons are strong. And you'd think that John Torx would be one of the weakest. But really, look at all that. Look at all that damage that that does. But yes, it's a fun special weapon. Oh god! Houston's targeting the gas stations! I gotta kill her ass here! Up, down, down. There, get the fuck out of here. Stop hitting the goddamn... Whatchamacallits. Here, I'll shoot you from a distance. This will be my strategy. You just try and avoid this, Houston. This is my brigade of bullshit. You son of a bitch. Well. Things have just gotten slightly more interesting, I guess. See, there's a lot of gas stations around here, so it's very difficult to avoid them. Hello, Houston. Come back. Houston, we have a problem. I already made that joke. Shit. Here. Oh, I was gonna... I was gonna total her ass, but okay. So there's John Torque. Did I not destroy the things? Yes. So John Torque's thing is that he's a gambler, obviously. All of his things are related to gambling. Except for a special weapon, which is a base boost. Subwoofer. Don't know what that has to do with gambling, but I'm not going to ask too many questions. Torque is broke. Suddenly, here comes this old-timer convoy talking about some vigilantes. Torque buys into his ideals and heads west on his first official mission. Oh, good. We got to protect the barns, and then they spawn me next to the barn. Good work. Good work, game. That is definitely... That is definitely a good strategy. So this is why the Vigilante characters take so much longer than the other ones, because you got to avoid an entire section of the game playing field, first of all. And then a lot of the times, like, these, like, the Vigilantes, like, Dave has a distance special weapon, but he's, like, the only Vigilante that does. Oh, Convoy does as well. But, like, everyone else's is kind of just like a... You either are next to them or you're not. So, beeswax! <laughs> I just love watching the, the I just love watching the thing just head in their direction. It's just like this is your impending fucking death coming at you right now. Poor beeswax, dude. But you see, in some ways the vigilantes one is easier because you only need to keep track of what you need to stay away from. For the coyotes, you actually have to pay attention to okay, at the start of this shit, we're going to destroy this. And then, yeah just the vigilantes, all you gotta do is kill your enemies. God damn. So John Torque is like one of the more powerful uh, cars, to say the least. 
And I'm not just saying, like, the special weapon's good. Ooh, I could get two for one! Two for one sale, bitch! To the moon with your ass. Okay, experiment. Does this always come up with mines? Yes, this always comes up with mines. That's a guaranteed mine spawn right there. Well, alrighty then. I always thought those were entirely random. Apparently they're not. Get the fuck out of here. Aww. Oh, beeswax, you fucking pussy. No. Taste my earth. Oh, I just got hit by my own special weapon. That is impressive. Well, Sid Burns here anyway. How about you get the fuck out? To the moon with your ass. So they can go back there, but you can't. Because the game will bounce you back, kind of like an MX Unleashed. That's a very odd comparison to make, actually. MX Unleashed, dude. That's a fun fucking game. I know it's my first ever 10th anniversary review and all, but it's a fun fucking game. Hello, Sid. Taste my crater of ass. Oh, he's stuck in the crater! Get him! Oh! Earthquake in the crater. Even more chaos than usual. Oh, there goes, there goes beeswax off into the sunset. Oh god. You know, it's stupid. It is stupid. This game is, this physics engine is stupid, but it's so entertaining. God, it's just, it's just worth it. And yeah, Sid's fucking carcass just picked up all the weapons that fell off his car. I wanted that thingamajig launcher. Some bullshit. Oh, no, oh, my shield. Alrighty then. Well, beeswax, you're kinda screwed, you're shit out of luck. You're so fucked, shit out of luck. Hardwired to self destruct. <sighs> Objective met? Yes, sir. U-G-J-W-J-L-I-V-V-H-Z-E-X-D Did you get that? Did you get that? Because that's the level code, okay? Good God. Yeah, it's a bit much. In case you were wondering, it is a bit much. Mm-hmm. Next mission. Torque is no stranger to some serious bruising, but these coyotes are real bad, man. Supposedly, now they're after the old military aircraft in Yuma Desert. Yeah, right. And, uh, this... This is the hardest protect mission in the entire game. It's even worse than the shield ones that I was building up. You have to protect the fucking carcasses of these dead planes, okay? Now, thankfully, this is the second to last mission, so we don't have to worry about someone approaching from behind. Loki goes off to the moon there. But yeah, I gotta protect that. And they're everywhere. There's one right there. I just gave up my special for a fucking mine. That is impressive. That is actually amazing. I just gave up my special for a fucking mine. No, target Molo. Fuck you. Because I think, yeah, I think every one of your enemies in this game always spawns with one of those mortar cannons that target the thing you're trying to protect automatically. I am pretty fucking certain. So I'm about to get bombarded on right there, so... I'm trying to de not dab on those haters too badly. I do want to get my special back, because I'm a jackass for losing it in the first place. Okay, what's this weapon? Hi! More special, okay. I'll keep this, or I won't keep that, just in case. Oh my god, pick up the times two before I actually hit something. Yeah, the fucking Apache helicopters you're supposed to protect are fucking everywhere on the stage. See, is that one that just blew up? Loki, you are a douchebag. Where are you? Loki, what the... What is even... I'm so confused right now. I gotta get more health. Damn it all. There we go. Alrighty then. Here, take this, Loki. You're pissing me off. Here, he should die from this. Hell, he did not die. That's an up. Well, he's off to the moon in any case. Yep, there. God damn it! Loki's getting fucked up. The poor bastard. I almost feel sorry for him, man. 
Okay, can you please die? I'm getting sick of this shit. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Houston, you're back for more, I see. Oh, no, there's still Molo on the field. See, look at this shit. Look at this fucking aerial bombardment of ass. Just spam him with this. Hopefully he'll die from it. There we go. Off to the moon with you. What kind of weapons do you have on you? Yo, you got two things that I want. Hopefully the carcass doesn't pick them up. And that's that. Where's the cannon? There we go. All right, Houston. 27? Houston! Houston! I'm sorry, Houston. You should have been a good guy, Houston. You should have been a good guy. Oh, damn. Well, hopefully I protected the helicopters. Please? Yes! Cool. Well, <laughs> I got like six of my special and barely did anything. Well, on to the last mission at Hoover Dam, and I think I know we're supposed to protect the one whatchamacallit that I destroyed as Boogie way into part one, so I just need to avoid that and everything's cool. Mm-hmm. Torque skips town for a night of gambling in the city. He has stopped midway. When Boogie sets up a roadblock at the Hoover Dam. Too bad for Boogie, JT. Don't dance. Damn. Fuck! Well, that's a great start. That's a great start. I already need health. That's fucking fantastic news. And Boogie's special weapon's stupid, so I actually do need to have health for that. Alright, hi. Hi, beeswax. Uh, take that. Up, down, up. Damn it. Well, these wax is already nearly dead, so that's a good sign. Let's not go towards what I'm supposed to protect. How about... How does that sound? See, look at this. I'm already half dead. This is some bullshit. Well, at least there's some health literally right here. Perfect. How's the visitor center looking? Looks fine from here. Houston again? This will be the third time that I killed you. Are you sure you want to put up with me after last time, Houston? Up, down, up, bitch. Eh, eh. I picked that up. Ha uh ha. -huh. That's actually Molo's special weapon sound effect that I just did there. That was some fucking legit shit, man. Legit shit. Alright, that just blew up that side. Did that spawn a health? I think that spawns a health normally. Whatever. Let's go through here. Take me to a good weapon. Yeah, that works. Houston, to the moon with you. Here, this will take you to the moon. There we go. Oh, more special. I will be taking that. Don't you worry about that. And if you think you're going to take it, well, I got some news for you. You're going to the moon, bitch. Oh, Sid took the good stuff. Fuck you. Alright, well in that case, let's head over to the whatchamacallit, because I think there's a guaranteed health spawn back there. And I kinda need it. I kinda need it. Just slightly a little bit. As it were. Here. Take this, Sid. Yeah, we got a shield here. I can just mow my way through this with no, no remorse. Yep, guaranteed health. And maybe something a little bit extra, no. Sadly, no. And plus, the whatchamacallit bitch visitor center that I'm supposed to protect? Yeah, that's a guaranteed health spawn in there. And the only way to get it is to destroy the visitor center. Which is what you're not supposed to do with John Torque, so... Did Sid just hit Houston with a... Hmm. Trick shot! Oh, I actually think I hit her. Damn. Beeswax, you fucked up! Oh, okay. That was some pretty good protection there, Beeswax. What the fu- Do mm, you have a shield on, you cunt bag? Here, I need your cannon. I need your mortars. Uh. I need your cannon. Uh. I need many things right now. No, 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 no. Both of you got that! You gotta be shitting me! Alright, well, I guess there's some more special here, so. Bare minimum. Here, take this, Sid. 
and beeswax for that matter. Here, die. Die, I said. Goodness, goddamn gracious. How hard is it to just kill some? Alright. Houston's dead. Unless the cannon thing forgets how to fucking operate. Which it did, by the way. There, Houston's dead. And Sid's pretty much gone as well. I used to think that Sid in this game was Sid from Toy Story grown up. Come back, you old bass. Alright, fine, go to the moon, I don't give a shit. There we go. Alright, well, Boogie's gonna appear behind me here in a minute. Where is he gonna spawn? Over there, okay. I need to avoid his ass, and if he starts using his special, I need to use mine to get him the fuck away from me. I just need a little bit more health, and I'll feel comfortable here. How's the visitor center looking? I can't see it from here. Get the shield quick. How's visitor center? It looks kind of destroyed, to be honest. Maybe it's supposed to look like that. Hello, boogie. Ah! See? You just wasted some of your special. And I had a shield on, bitch. Take that. Oh shit! Woo! Avoided it. Nice wreck avoidance there. Okay, didn't avoid it that time. Yeah, you see? Boogie, could you fucking not with that shit? Okay, yeah, go to the moon. Get the fuck out of here. I need some help. Oh fuck, he's got his fucking whatchamacallits going on here. I need help. I need help. I need help. And the visitor center actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Oh god, here he comes. There's health! Fuck! Two healths! Get your shit out of here, Boogie! Oh, you're about to feel the night fever right now, bitch! He just used his special again! How many of this do you have? Did he spawn on top of, like, two fucking... Here. Oh, fuck! Ugh. There. D follow me if you dare, Boogie. Ooh, and we also got this. Thank you, I'll be taking that. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Taste some of that. How about? How about a taste of my super freeze breath, bitch? Health, I see it. Ugh. I see it, I need it. There we go. And there's another one right down here. Ha, hey, you got mines now. Get the fuck out of here, boogie. Get the fuck out of here with your minds. I got four of my special left. You cunt. And I also got a times two. So my nyas are gonna be even more powerful. <laughs> Boogie, you fucked up. You should have thought about it before you messed with fucking John fucking Torque, bitch. Boom. Nice. That was only 18 minutes, one of the shortest playthroughs we've done yet. Cool. Getting better to this game. You're damn right. Movie time! So there you go, both John Torque's and Sid Burns' plot arcs come to an end. Which means that we're ever closer to the final stages of Vigilante 8. But for now, let's just save and marvel at the success. So here we are, this is where everything's at right now. So no matter what, we're going to unlock people from here on out, so that's awesome news. But in any case, this has been some more Vigilante 8. We'll see you in the next part when we unlock another character, complete another character. But you see, Loki and Sheila are the only ones left, and they're the two weakest cars in the game. So things could get interesting, but you know, who cares? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! into a power up no go away go away ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, this is rape
God damn it, this. This is rape! Ah, where's my rape whistle?